Welcome to Breakfast Buzz, a new program to create awareness amongst immigrants and new Canadians. Today we are into the second episode and we have Rob Oliphant, Member Parliament of Don Valley West. We welcome you in our studio, sir. Good morning. It's great to be here and congratulations on this new program. Fantastic endeavor. Thank you very much. Sir, as already narrated to your office that this program is to create awareness amongst new immigrants, new Canadians, that why they should follow the process and get into the system and what are the understandings they should have. Let's begin with what is your job and what do you do, what an MP is to begin with. Well, I'm, a, I'm a fairly new member of Parliament, just uh, the last two years. I represent an area called Don Valley West, which is in the centre part of Toronto. It is as multicultural as any part of Canada is. About half my, uh, my riding is born outside of Canada, half my riding born inside of Canada. About 45% so-called visible minority. Um, and uh, an interesting mix of very wealthy, middle class, lower middle class and very poor. So I've got a good range of people. As a member of parliament, I go to Ottawa to do a couple of things. One, to, one, to advocate for them with the government. I'm obviously in opposition as a liberal member. So my goal is to advocate for them on government programs and then to legislate to try to make better laws for Canada. And you, you have to let go then of some of your riding specific issues and try to think what's good for the whole of Canada. So I have to think what's good for British Columbia, what's good for Ontario, what's good for the Maritimes and, and good for Canada and the world. So I have to do both. My people, 120,000 people in Don Valley West and all of Canada, 30 some million people. So I, I love my work. I, um, I have fun. Um, I get angry. Politics is a tough game. It's a tough game. No doubt, no doubt. So reading your resume on your website, you do chair or a member of a couple of committees and one that is multiculturalism. What is multiculturalism committee and what is its functions? Well, and, and that's, I am the multiculturalism critic for the Liberal Party. Um, Justin Trudeau is the immigration critic and Justin Trudeau and I work together on immigration and multiculturalism. Immigration and the committee is one. We do both immigration and multiculturalism. Okay. Immigration I always say is bringing people to Canada. Multiculturalism is living together once we're here. So my job as multiculturalism critic is to make sure that the various cultural communities can, can come to their, their, their full um, stature in this country, that they're, they're, they get the, the, uh, the power and the presence that, that people deserve in Canada. And secondly, that different cultures work well together. So it's not only multiculturalism, but interculturalism and how we get along. Somewhat like what you're trying to do in this, uh, this television station. You're trying to bring together different um, exactly. cultural groups exactly. and say, in Canada, we're all equal. In Canada, the, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms is the granite on which we did Pierre Trudeau did this. He knew that Canada could be a fragile country. So he said, I'm going to give a Charter of Rights and Freedoms that guarantees everybody's rights. So multiculturalism means I can express myself just to the point where it would stop you from expressing yourself. Okay. So that means that in Canada, I am free to be who I need to be. You're free to need to be who you need to be. You can do it. Just to the point where you're stopping me and I'm stopping you. So that's how we live together in Canada. And I think it's, it's maybe unique in the world, the way we're trying to do this. I fully agree with you on that point. One of your statements just now was that you are a member of parliament where the visible minority is South Asians. And according to Stats Canada, the visible minority in GTA in general are South Asians. But a point of frustration or thinking is that we are the visible minorities, not to undermine any other minority, but when it comes to jobs, when it comes to government offices, we don't have the same representation. Would you like to elaborate that point? Because that is from the grassroots levels, I'm saying. Absolutely. And that happens in several places. So I think... And actually, I believe in equity programs and affirmative action programs. I think sometimes we have to create ways that people get in. 
So right now in our party, we have a program to ensure that at least one third, and more than one third of our candidates are women. The goal is to get 50%. The population is 50% female, 50% male. That's what we have to do. Right now we have five members of our caucus who are Punjabi, who are, are Sikh faith and Punjabi ethnically. Um, that's a good representation based on the numbers of, of Sikh Canadians. So we, act, and, we and, and, and the other party has a couple as well. I forget their name, that party, but there's another party out there I hear. Um, but we are underrepresented in our party among Muslim Canadians. We have one in the Liberal Caucus. That's not enough. We're underrepresented in Asian Canadians. We don't have any in our caucus. Um, we have some who are married and, uh, to, to Asian people. It's not good enough. We have to find ways to open up. One of those things is the reality is it's to become a member of parliament actually is quite a hard process. Let me tell you about this. To, you know, I look out there at the audience and I think about the audience at home think, one of you is going to be a member of parliament. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe ten of you. Maybe your kids are going to be MPs. Well, the process is tough. Um, there are only 300 and eight of us out of 30 some million people in Canada. So that means we, you represent one in 100,000. It's a, it's, a, it's a hard job. So you've got to win a nomination by being part of a political party, by building a team of support, by understanding the, kind of the rough and tumble of politics. Then you've got to win an election, and then you've got to stay elected. And those are all kinds of tough things. To, to, to win a nomination, you've got to have a lot of friends, and you've got to have people who care about what you care about and think that you can represent them. To win an election, there's a little bit of luck in that, that your party has to be doing okay, plus you have to work very hard. Um, and then when you want to stay elected, uh, I looked at my assistant this morning and I said, did you look at my weekend this weekend? From, from now until Sunday night, I have 47 hours booked. That's in three days. That's Lots of Canadians don't work that in a whole week. I've already worked my week. I work my, and I'm not complaining. Lots of people want my job. I'm not complaining. <laughs> but the reality is to stay elected, you need to be everywhere. You need to listen. You need to talk. You need to, to sit with people. So I'm, I try to be everywhere, but not just for a minute. These aren't photo ops I do. These are sitting down and saying, what's the problem with foreign credentialing? What's the problem with, with getting your, your academic uh, credentials recognized? What's the problem with Canadian experience? And how, do we, how does the government have new programs for mentors so that a company can get a tax credit if they hire newer Canadians? People without experience. Because you know, they may get their credentials recognized, they may have their academic uh, recognition, they can't get a job because people say you don't have Canadian experience. Yes. You know? Or you reach a glass ceiling. You know, People are working and working and working and there is still systemic racism in this country. There are still barriers that get placed. And my job is to open that up. But I can only do it if I sit down and talk and hear and listen. Absolutely. So one thing that comes out of this uh, statement is that companies do get tax credits for hiring new Canadians and new immigrants. That's one thing I came to know today. That's what I want. It's not the, it's not the case yet. I'm going to fight for that. It's not the case. Yes, you are going to fight for that. So the Liberal Party, in a general term, is termed to be or seen as a more immigrant-friendly immigrant, immigrant -friendly party, I would say. Could you specify the reasons for that sure. as compared to other parties, which I'm not going to name. We all know.